Jamia Mosque Nairobi has opened its doors to people from other faiths to come and witness what happens inside the mosque walls. The much-awaited Mosque Open Day finally happened. The event, organized by the Jamia Mosque Committee Nairobi, kicked off at 9 a.m. and visitors were allowed to access the mosque through its various gates. Many volunteers turned up to guide the attendees throughout the activities of the day. The open day was not held last year due to the disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic that led to the closure of mosques around the country, a directive that came from the Ministry of Health to curb the spread of the virus in the country. The day's activities began with a tour of the mosque in both the women's and men's section. Visitors were then led to the multi-purpose hall, where they were given a brief introduction to the basics of Islam by available scholars. God has said the best in the eyes of God, according to our teachings, is the one who fears God most. And here God has not said all Muslims, he has said all mankind, all of you have been addressed by God. That is the teaching of Islam. The discussions were followed by a question and answer session where most common misconceptions about Islam were demystified. We are living in a world whereby the impression created is that Muslims don't care about human lives. True or not true? Yes, somebody told me once, Ibrahim, when I see a small Muslim, I see a potential terrorist. When I see an old one, I see a retired one or an advisor. So that is the impression that has been created. True or not true? Let's face it. Imagine it is so far from the truth because Islam tells you to be kind even to animals, okay? The event was attended by people from various faiths and ethnicities, including Christians, Sikh, and Muslims as well. Brothers and sisters, we must look inside us and see where the truth lies and be able to distinguish right from wrong and be able to live humble and humility lives. And most of all, be present and counted where it is extremely necessary. For many, it was a new experience, others being their first time ever in a mosque. My name is Nancy Awando. I'm a born again uh, Christian. And um, today I was quite uh, impressed that uh, the mosque can actually have an open day so that we can, uh, you know, come in and demystify, so to call, to, 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 to call it, uh, you know, Islam. Uh, because I've, I mean, I've lived in Nairobi for a very long time and beyond, I've, I've seen this mosque so many times. Again, uh, like I said, I'm intrigued to see what's inside, but also uh, to support a very dear friend of mine who uh, recently reverted to Islam. And uh, every time we have conversations together, um, I'm just intrigued at how, how similar, you know, Islam and uh, Christianity are. The open day served as a great opportunity for reverts to invite their friends and family in order for them to get a first-hand experience of what Islam is like. Oh, my name is Betty Omolo Oko. I'm a Christian. And uh, what's brought me here today is um, I have a friend who recently uh, converted to Islam. And when she did that, it shocked me way beyond because I feel it's quite extreme leaving Christianity and moving to to being a Muslim. I am now a revert to Islam for two years alhamdulillah and um, today's event has been so exciting because one of the things uh, since I reverted to Islam is um, I've had a lot of my relatives and friends asking about Islam. The visitors were also invited to watch the afternoon prayers inside the mosque and each left with a translated version of the Holy Quran for further reference. For people who had different perceptions about Islam, this came as a golden opportunity to get clarification. Uh, open day ni msikiti kufunguliwa kwa watu wasioko Islam wapate kuingia siku ingia kuwa na msikiti pia watapata kueleza Uislamu ni nini kando na hayo sisi kueleza Uislamu ni nini 
pia watapata fursa kuuliza maswali juu ya Uislamu. Pia tunawapa watu fursa kuja zaidi na kuuliza maswali ambayo labda ya huwa yanawasumbua. Ya labda wamesikia fikra ama kasumba tofauti tofauti. Uh, kwa hivyo hii nafasi nzuri ya mtu kuja akauliza ama akajisikia yeye mwenyewe. And some had a change of heart. Alhamdulillah today we have been given the opportunity to organize an open day whereby we invite the non-Muslims to the masjids and uh, the main objective of this event is just to share the good news that we have and to try and clear some misconceptions that are perhaps with the non-Muslims. The event was fruitful thanks to the entire Jamia team that made it happen. This year's Open Day has seen a higher turnout compared to the last two previous years. Majority of people today came individually and some were invited. Some came with an intention of converting while others just to learn, but all in all, majority have left with a different perception of Islam. For Horizon TV, my name is Samaya Hussein.